What is up everybody, Bishop here with my first post beta division video. I was able to play the beta all weekend and I absolutely loved it, I had a blast. But today I want to talk about a specific review I've seen. So sometime over the weekend I was browsing the interwebs and stumbled upon an article titled The Division's Underwhelming Beta Dampens Our Expectations. Wait, what? That can't mean what I think it means. So I decided to take a read. The summarized impressions so far are awkward controls, dumb AI, and repetitive shooting. Repetitive shooting? First we have people complaining about the damage indicators who are obviously just looking for a shooter and don't understand RPGs, and now we have people saying the shooting is repetitive? What the hell will please you guys? Kyle Orland, senior gaming editor for Ars Technica, starts off the article saying, After a few hours, my anticipation isn't gone, but it has been dulled quite a bit. He goes on to compliment the game's environment using terms such as hauntingly beautiful and visually striking, which I absolutely agree with. The game does look great. He also mentions party integration and matchmaking, saying it's pretty solid so far. I can't disagree with him there. Anywhere you're able to see another player, you have the option to send them a group invite to tag along on whatever adventure you set out on. Also, at the beginning of any instance-based missions, you have the option to set the difficulty and enter matchmaking to be automatically paired up with other individuals who need to complete said mission. The only quibble is that voice communication seems to be the only reliable way to communicate. What? It's 2016, Kyle. All current gen consoles come with microphones. If you don't like to talk to people, you probably shouldn't be playing a multiplayer game. The Division beta is uninspiring to say the least. The shooting action seems to draw direct inspiration from the Gears of War series particularly in the way you can snap behind cover and move between save points with the press of a button. Where the Gears of War games thrive on smooth animations and transitions that keep the action fluid and fast moving, in the Division beta I found the protagonist moved much more clunkily. Let me stop you right there. You're comparing a beta to a game that has been released and in constant development for 9 years. Yes, there were some animations and movement restrictions that were quite annoying, but that's the point of a beta. The controls are minor though, compared to the enemy AI. Mentioning melee enemies wielding bats, etc. That variety is nice. And did you ever get hit by one of those enemies? They fucking hurt. I love that. Enemies that have a pretty slim chance of actually making contact with you, but if they do, they do some real damage. He goes on to talk about how bad the AI is and then explains lackluster abilities but never does he mention the dark zone or any higher end content that we had access to. I want to start by saying during the entirety of the beta we were over leveled and over geared. None of the enemies during the encounters or in the missions stood a chance. We started out as level 4 in a zone that started at level 2 with a lot of decent gear from the get go. From there we continued to out level and out gear every enemy we encountered. Did you even replay the one real story mission we had access to on Hard Kyle? It scales up to whoever is the highest level in your group, and it was actually pretty rough. I knew, from previously beating the mission, where the enemies would come from, so I planted a sticky bomb as a trap, and the AI were smart enough to change their route to not be touched by the explosion. That certainly caught me off guard and left my bomb wasted. Did you go into the dark zone and try to clear any of the contaminated areas filled with enemy NPCs? They were difficult. The veterans and elites we found there absolutely melted us, literally and figuratively. Not only were they beefier because they were the same level as us, but the AI was definitely more intelligent. More than once, a golf club or bat wielding enemy snuck up on me and one-shotted me. Never did I have any idea where he came from. Most of this review is based on content that is supposed to be easy for people to learn the game or for people who are new to the genre and it was even easier for us during the beta because we started at a higher level than you will be in the actual release. That's all for this video, hit that like button if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have any questions or if you think I'm dead wrong, and hit that subscribe button to see all my future videos where I will be covering specific areas of The Division and plenty of new gameplay.